I'm Susan Sloan with Real Health Quotes. Prescriptions. Is that becoming a new four-letter word, even though it's much longer than that? Uh, the cost of prescriptions is going up and up. There's no question about that. There's fewer and fewer low-cost generics. Higher-cost generics end up being pricier, sometimes as much as $10 or $20 copays. Brand name drugs can be copays or they can be coinsurance, a percentage of cost. High cost generics can come in under those high cost non-preferred brand drugs and then there's specialty drugs which could be brand or generic. It gets very expensive. And it doesn't just mean, you don't have to look at prescription drug cost just based on the cost of your prescription drug plan and the co-pays and co-insurance you may have. You have to look at the cost of prescriptions at the pharmacy you choose to buy that prescription from. Not all pharmacies have the same cost and there can be wide variances. In a leading consumer magazine published in April of this year, 2018, we have them reviewing the prices between five or six of the more typically prescribed drugs and looking at what the cost of the prescription, the exact same prescription is at a dot com or at several smaller chains, larger chains, big box stores, and independents, mom and pop shops. Guess who came out the cheapest? The dot com. After that, independents, mom and pop pharmacies came out the cheapest. The most expensive are some of the well-known regular pharmacies that everybody goes to. You need to do some research, whether you are on individual and family or group insurance, or whether you're on Medicare and are worrying about getting into the donut hole, the actual cost of the drug at the pharmacy is what's going to impact you. Please take a look at that. If you have questions, call me, Susan Sloan at Real Health Quotes. I'm always here for you.